good, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Inside the Idaho Vandals with head coach Paul Petrino. I'm Dennis Patchen. Thanks for being with us. Back in the dome. Back in the dome, yeah. How did you feel when you? I know you. I know you were disappointed with the loss, but how did you feel when you left Saturday? You know, I, I thought we did some things better. We definitely improved. We improved on running the football. I think that's something we've gradually got better at all year long. And we probably we ran the ball good enough to win the game. You know, we just gotta got to execute our passing game a little bit better. We can't turn the ball over on that first drive. If you kind of look at the two drives offensively, the two halves, excuse me, um, the first half we had the ball four times. We turned it over the first time, scored on two drives, and had two times that uh, we, we didn't score. Um, so either you got to get the ball a few more times or, you know, but that's, we were five for seven at halftime on third down conversions, and usually if you do that, you're, you're winning. Um, defensively, we stopped the run a lot better. And, but we, you know, we got hurt with the passing game. So, but at least it showed signs of doing something. You got to, you got to start somewhere and do something good. And, and we stopped the run. They were a good running team. We kind of committed to stopping the run, and uh, we just gave up a couple big plays in the passing game. And you know that can't happen. And we can't have that turnover in the first drive. Second half, um, it kind of comes down. To, and then that last drive of the first half, yeah. I think, really killed us. You know, we came down, scored, had all kinds of momentum. It was 17-14. Uh, there's four minutes left to go in the half, and they kind of took the ball and went all the way down the field and, and scored on the last play, and that, that kind of hurt. We came out in the second half. Uh, they had the ball first. The defense got a stop. Um, we drove down, and, you know, I went for it on fourth down, and it was just something like I felt like, you know, we didn't get the ball much the first half. Um, I looked up at the scoreboard, and we hadn't got the ball much in that quarter. So I, I went for it, and, and we didn't get it. So that, that's my fault. You know, gave them decent field position, but it was a play I believed in. Um, I still would do it again. You know, I was looking, we were in the same formation the play before, and I looked out there and thought it'd be an easy completion of the tight end. Um, and we just didn't, we didn't throw it to him. And, you know, he was, he was kind of covered, but it was probably something that uh, as the years go on, I think we'll put the ball right on his hands and get the first down. Um, and then really, we had other, another time we had the ball offensively, we didn't convert. And then the next two drives, we went down and, you know, one we went down and scored, and the other one was a 12 play drive. And, and I uh, tried to kick field goal, and, and we missed it. So. You know, there, there were signs of us improving offensively because we didn't have the ball much. And when we did have it, we scored about 50% of the time. Um, defensively, we did a good job of stopping the run. But we just, you know, we, we got to be better at uh, defending the pass. When you get this thing turned around and you're in a season where you're 5-2 and two or 6-1, and one, will you still be the riverboat gambler that you seem to be right now? Um, yeah. I will. You know, if, if it's a if it's a situation in the exact same team and you're playing, you know, Coach Francione, he that that's how he's won. That's how he's won for years. He controls the ball. He runs the clock. Um, you don't get that many possessions. He's always good in the special teams. You know, that's we got killed in field position in the special teams. Their punter did something. He put us inside the ten three times. Um, so in the, in that situation, I would. You know, some games I might not. But in that situation, I think it's. You know, we just got to get good enough where we convert it. The one drive we did go down and score, uh, we converted two fourth downs. You know, and that's how we kept the ball. If we wouldn't have went for it, we wouldn't have we wouldn't have went down and scored. So, what do you think you're doing better right now, running the ball or passing the ball, or throwing the ball on offense? Oh, uh, running the ball by far. You know, we've improved greatly. Um, we've had mismatch offensive lines. You know, kind of throughout the year, um, Sione played this last game, started and played pretty much the whole game at guard. He really hadn't played all year, um, and he did a really good job run blocking. You know, and kind of the offensive line we're playing with right now, they're a little undersized, um, but they've really improved in, in, in the run blocking. And uh, right now, they're you know we haven't had the quarterback hit as much the last two games, but part of that's because I've called more runs. But they still got to continue to improve in the passing game. Um, but right now, we're running the ball a lot better than we are throwing it. Is it a combination of everything then that where the passing game isn't? isn't where you want it to be, time yes. to throw, the fact you're on your third quarterback, the fact you've changed your offensive line, is it just a, a giant puzzle that just the pieces haven't been put together yet? No question, no question, because early in the year it was just the opposite. You know, we were probably throwing the ball a lot better, and we had a high percentage in completions. We weren't, having, we weren't throwing any interceptions. We still haven't thrown many interceptions this year, but we weren't running the ball well enough, so it's kind of through the change of quarterbacks and through the change of offensive linemen, that's kind of changed. But, uh, you know, we just got to get to where we do both real well, and, and then that's when the program will be where we want it. Coach Petrino in the Vandal offense on its third quarterback. Taylor Davis is now in control of the offense. Alyssa Charlson had a chance to visit with him. 
Thanks, Dennis. Well, I'm here with senior quarterback Taylor Davis, who has taken over the starting quarterback role. You've had a long career here, five years. What do you remember most, and what kind of lessons do you, have you learned? Uh, what I've learned is, you know, you got to take college in. It's a, it's a fun time, and uh, the people you meet and the, and the coaches you get to be around, um, it's really a, a, a big-time uh, inspirational thing to be around. Very cool. And what is probably your favorite memory since being at Idaho? Uh, my favorite memory is probably freshman year, uh, going to the humanitarian bowl. Um, I was a redshirt freshman, but being around that, that bowl experience and uh, having those older guys mentor me uh, was, a, was a really cool experience. And you're heading into the last home game of the season, the last game you're going to play on this turf. What's going through your head going into this game? Um, it's kind of a sad experience, but uh, at the same time, uh, you know, I've been here for five years and uh, it's time to part ways here and, and let these younger guys come up and, uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully we'll start the home game winning streak this Saturday and after that they'll build on that and keep building on it until uh, it's a powerhouse team. Absolutely. And talk about kind of like the friendships and the bonds you've made while you've been here. I mean, you have a solid group of guys that redshirted with you that you've gone, you know, all the way through your senior year with. Just talk about the experience that you've gotten as a student athlete to make those kind of friendships. Yeah, I mean, we're with the guys all the time. I mean, day in and day out, we, uh, we're at practice with them, we're at films with them. I mean, we're at lunch together, we room together. Um, so outside of the kind of the student athlete part of it, I mean, we really don't have time to talk to really anybody else. So. Uh, the people on, on the student athlete side, I mean, I'm, I have a, a lot of friends that I'll, I'll be in touch with for the rest of my life. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a great experience to, to, to have that, especially when I'm so far away from home and, and they're, they're so close. So it's pretty cool. Well, thanks for taking the time. Uh, Taylor Davis, senior quarterback, the last time you're going to get to catch him out on this field. Back to you, Dennis. What do you like about Taylor Davis? You know, I just I like how much of a team player he's been. I like how he's stuck in there. I thought this last game he showed great toughness. You know, there was the first drive we went down and scored on. You know, we ran his own read play and he got up the field. And you know, when when he I had to call a timeout. When I did it, I thought he'd gotten whacked real hard. Um, but when you watch it on tape, what actually happened is he cut, ran up field, and the safety kind of came running up and really just clocked him, got him right between his face mask and punched him right in the nose. And because uh, at the time out, he was bleeding real hard. It was like a faucet coming out of his nose, but uh, showed great toughness, stayed in there, drove us down there to score. And, uh, you know, I, I think he's, he's came in there and, and just competed real hard. These last two games played way better this game than he did the game before. And um, he's just continued to improve and been a great team player. And, and I thought he really, uh, you know, gave everything he had to try to get us a victory. One more game here at the Dome. Old Dominion will be right back here in Moscow this weekend. We'll take a look at that game when we return inside the Idaho Vandals continues.